decided that with this greenhouse, because it's going to be quite a bit heavier duty, I've decided that I'm going to concrete in my post. So I'm just digging holes and uh, two and a half deep, two and a half feet deep, which is pretty deep and um, about six to eight inches wide. So I'm doing this because the new arch tops that I'm making, they're going to have, well, I'm hoping that the pressure is going to be evenly distributed. That's the whole idea with building them. But I still am concerned that I might have some bowing that occurs over time with my side posts because it is, they are going to be five feet off the ground. I want them to be really sturdy. So putting in some concrete, pretty simple. I've got, most people that are using a post digger use um, a tool, I think they call it an iron. It's basically just a big heavy rod with a pointy bottom. And you use that to mash up the hole or push through rocks. But I've got my old tree planting shovel, which is a customized blade. And um, don't even ask me where to get these anymore. I, have, I haven't planted in so long that I forget. But I know there are, is a Canadian company that makes them. Oh, Bush Pro. Bush Pro makes them. Um, that's actually a company out of here, not too far from here. So I'm using that to break up my ground and also like kind of shape my hole. And if I hit rocks and whatnot, it works really good for that. And then I'm pulling the dirt out with just a standard post digger. And I'm not this handy with this tool, but the one thing I know about it is when you want to let the tool do as much of the work as possible. So you want to drive it down in the ground really hard, clamp it, open it up, and then when you bring it up, you want to hit the ground with it, you want to, so that it knocks off the dirt, because sometimes, even the holes I'm digging here, it's a lot of clay, and it sticks to the blade, and you, if you have dirt sticking to the blade, every time you lift it, you're lifting more weight than you need to, so you want to always knock it on the ground and hit that dirt off. So you will notice on my shovel and my post digger, I've got a piece of tape on there, and that is measured from the tip of the blade, two and a half feet so that I don't have to carry on a measuring tape or a measuring stick to measure my hole. I'm just measuring it as my shovel's in there and so I always know where I'm at. And I'm digging all of them at the proper depth. So this greenhouse project is a real-time project. If you want to continue watching the project, follow the vlog. If you haven't subscribed, you can do that here. And uh, follow along and watch me build this thing. Hopefully I don't screw it up. And if I do, you guys will get to learn from my experience and make it better than I do.